It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. I swear to God, man, some of this shit you fucking can't make up. Two of the wackest rappers ever are slated to battle on a uh, on a circuit in a league called. NWO, MC, War, NWO. Um, check them out. I'll leave a link down there to the article. And these two rappers, one is known as uh, Bone Crusher, and the other is Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. If you're into hip hop, y'all already know how whack these dudes are, and I don't even need to go into their history. It's just gonna be a waste of time to me. But I just don't understand how they're even being allowed to do this shit. It's just beyond me. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to process process the whole thing because I found out about this last night and shouts out to Rita one of a kind Coleman for putting me onto this shit but the thing it, it, it is hilarious to me and you know what I actually think part of it is genius because you know you, people are just gonna want to go see it because it's a fucking train wreck honestly it's a fucking train wreck so people are gonna be want to go see it for that reason I don't think any of y'all are gonna really boo these dudes um, I think people are really actually gonna try and listen to see if they got some hot shit and if they do let me know please but I, I have no real interest to go out of my way to see it um, someone left an interesting comment on one of these sites I think it was allhiphop.com I'll leave the link to that. Actually, that's where I first read it. But uh, someone said, yo, I hope these mainstream niggas are going to come in and um, start fucking up battle rap as well. And uh, I agree with that poster. I, I definitely agree. Uh, if you're not from that scene, don't think you're just going to show up and, you know, cash in and get out like you did with, with your, your fucking whack ass music. So don't ruin that fucking scene. The main event, though, is something that I am interested in. It's uh, Keith Murray versus Fredro Starr from Onyx. And that should be somewhat interesting. Uh, I know people are going to ask who I want to win in that one. Um, I like both those MCs. But I'm going to have to go with um, Keith Murray. Only be well. I'm leaning towards him a little bit more because he started out battling as a MC Do Damage back in the day. Um, I'm not sure if Fredro Star was a battler. I haven't heard anything um, as far as his history in battling. Even though he is a hardcore MC, it's gonna it, you know I think he's gonna come with some crazy ass heat. Uh, so Fredro's my nigga though. So. Um, that's what I feel about the whole shit, but <laughs> fucking Bone Crusher and Mike Jones, I, I don't know. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong for having that opinion. I mean, I, I think it's just going to be fucking whack as shit, alright? And um, that's it. Shout out to the other MCs that are participating in that shit, like my nigga Ness, uh, Ness... I've been following for a while. I even ran into this dude. One day I'm driving by um, Holland Tunnel. I see someone running out of a car, get, throwing CDs into people's cars. 
So this dude runs up to me and hands me a CD, and then he runs back into the car. So as I'm driving up, I don't know if anyone's familiar with that Holland Tunnel traffic in New York going into New Jersey. As I'm driving up, I see the dude, and I see who's next to him. It was fucking Ness, you know? And I looked at the CD, and it was uh, one of Ness's like mixtapes or demos or some shit. I don't have it anymore. I don't know where the fuck it is, but shout out to Ness. I know Ness is battling, so um, shout out to everybody in that uh, NWO shit. And um, don't want to ramble, but I just want to tell you my thoughts on Mike Jones versus Bone Crusher. And everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, and um, that's it. Peace, bitches.